Hello everybody, Dmod, Dmod here, and welcome back for another chapter of Fire Emblem, baby. In the last chapter, we met up with, um, Ellie Woods, uh, soon best friend, Hector, and Oswin, who also had Matthew and, um, uh, Sarah with him. So we got a whole little band now. And they joined us, and I guess we keep going from there. Alright, let's get this started. Chapter 13, Search of Truth. Let's go for it. I would enter the tours, only to be attacked by a strange group. Oh yeah, that kind of happened too. At this moment, he is rescued by a childhood friend. Marcus will see his younger brother, Hector. The Sandlands leader reveals that an unknown party seeks Eliwood's head. Evo can I help but think this is related to his father's disappearance. If there's no more traces of his father's footsteps, Evo sits up in the castle of Lord Helmut, the Marcus of Centaurus. Alright. Let's go for it. Chapter 13, Insert the Truth. It's like Phoenix Wright. And, oh, never a good chapter if it opens up with this music. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. That's Refido. What is the meaning of this? Peace, Lord Helmet. Whatever is wrong. You said you were just going to frighten Nelly Wood. Your men almost killed them. My patience at that and then. I decided I must tell Elliwood everything and apologize. You will betray us? I am tired of you and the Black Fang. Now remove yourself from my castle. Your presence pains me. Lord Hellman, is there nothing you can do to change your mind? Nothing. In that case, you're no longer of any use. You kinda should have expected that from an assassin group. No offense. Just saying. There's the castle, Hollywood. We have to speak with Lord Hellman. That's not gonna happen, laddie. Who are you? Who am I? Ah, oh boy, you better not worry yourself about it. You'd be warned to meet before much longer. You think so? I think my axe will change your mind. Ha! The club thinks he's a wolf. Does your bite match your bark? Tell you what, if you make it to the castle alive, we'll find out, huh? Uh, so AKA, he just runs away. And, oh. Hey you, yeah, the new dog. Get this right or you're gone. I know, I know. I just got this job. I don't want to lose it. Of course, it's smart to do it have not to get involved with this in the first place. You gotta have gold if I want to eat, though. I was too picky before. If I think about the time I passed out in Kalyan, ugh. Nothing funny about that. My man, what was his name? Matthew. If it hadn't been for him, I would have starved to death. What are you mumbling about? Get over here now. Yes, yes, I'm coming. At least I've got work. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Oh, hey there, Lowen. Nice to be working with you, Zachary. As your journeyman Naya Ferry, I'm here to serve what I would and you, Zachary. I wait your command. Alright. Okay, good. I was just checking in to make sure that Lowen didn't want me to make him move first, just to be sure. So, if we look over here, we have Guy over here. Uh, that's actually what his name is. And he has a killing edge, which is pretty scary. However, guy here, since he ha he's a named NPC who isn't a boss, you're gonna wanna try talking to him. And since he's talking about Matthew so much, we probably wanna bring Matthew over to him. Because like I said, Matthew's now joined us, and so is Sarah, and Hector, and Oswin. Anyways, let's get the chat started. Let's open up a visiting the house of Ellywood. The merchant just went running past here in a panic. He dropped something. I tried to tell him, but... Look, he's the sort that drops things a lot. Um, alright. Helpful, I guess. <laughs> okay, we got another house. Let's have Dorcas visit it. If you value your lives, stay clear of the castle's southwest of here. There's a swordsman named Guy. He's young, but deadly. He carries a killing edge, a fearful sword to be sure. I warn you, find another road to the castle. So, yeah, that's just a heads up, because... Guy's killing edge is a weapon with an extremely high critical hit ratio. So, be careful! If he gets to attack you, he's going to hit hard, really, no matter what you do. Anyways, though, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll have Lowen attack this guy with the sword, because this guy is not going to hit us in return, because we're talented. Thank you. <laughs> and, oh, really? One point from the level up? Of course. What else would it be? Alright, I'll have Rebecca move in for the finishing blow. Actually, that did nothing. I should have looked at the damage. I assumed it would have been enough to kill him. Crap. 
Crap, 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 crap. Okay, what can we do? Uh, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. Oswin, no. Sarah, no. Nothing, huh? Alright, then I guess we'll ignore that and go after what's over here. We have a snag over here, and I think I already explained these. We break them and they make bridges. They're helpful. Okay, I'll have Sarah hang out over here then, because someone's gonna be needing, needing healing after this turn. Um, there's Guy down there. So let's get Matthew moving forward. Like about here or so. Uh, how will Swin follow? And then I'll have Hector go up here. And you just hang around Hollywood, I guess. There we go, let's see what happens. Yep, attacking Rebecca, but then again, why wouldn't he? And oh, nice dodge, Rebecca. Nice dodge. Okay, let's see here. Anything else? Oh, we got archers. Uh oh. Okay, that didn't do too much, so that means the other one's not gonna do much. And hey, we got leveled up from being hit. Yes! HP, lock it. Um, I'll take it. It's not the greatest level up, but it'll work. Here's this guy here. It's another miss. Nice. And Oh, a duck! Rebecca is already showing where she can go. She's already looking way stronger than when first met found her. Okay, well, that being said, Rebecca, how about you just knock out this guy? Nice and easy. Now that I know you can double attack the other archers, that's gonna make Rebecca, like, win every archer fight. That's pretty handy. Okay, now I think I'm gonna have Lowen uh, take out this guy. Like so. Nice. Alright. Now what? Let's think here. Um, you are kind of just wide open for attacks. Let's see. That's six times two. You can't reach. You can't do anything to him. Looks like I'm sending in Matthew, or I can just have him hide in the bush. Actually, I won't really get much done. All right, I'll just send in Matthew to do some damage. It gets him close to the guy, anyways. Okay, that's our primary objective at the moment. For all I care. Nice job, Matthew. Okay. We have this village here and I'm hoping to visit it soon. Okay, uh, Barda, you can break this open, please. There we go. And now that's established, we now have a village over here to go visit, which we're definitely going to. So I'll have Dorcas follow his old buddy, I guess you could call him. I don't know, they're hanging out together, so I'm assuming they're friends. But you can go that way, um, you can go this way. And just to make sure nothing happens over here, I'm gonna bring Marcus over this way. There, and Sarah can. Uh, you know what? I doubt he's even gonna hit Sarah if he tries to, so, like, let's see. Yeah, what I would have thought. Sarah just kind of dodges it because she's in the forest, and the archers don't have the greatest accuracy in the first place when it comes to the forest. And, oh, did I see reinforcements? I think I did from this fortress, because I don't remember this guy being here. Anyways, oh, let's see. Uh, can Hector reach it this turn? No, he cannot, which means you guys definitely can't. Let's make sure we're equipped the Iron Sword. I don't want to use up the... The Rapier. That's it. I'll try to remember the name of the sword for a minute. Okay, now what? Um, what's your attack range? The Fortress, the Fortress, the Fortress, and... A little bit before the Fortress. Alright then. Now my plan is to try and get uh, Mr. Oswin into the Fortress. Because if we do that, he can easily take out all those guys. And guys shouldn't... Attack him, but I'm, that's what I'm worried about. Because Guy, he is a Myrmidon, which basically means that he's very powerful offensively, but defensively he's kind of... Eh. He reminds me of Lin. Very evasive, but when he actually gets hit, it does do a good chunk. Uh, Loan, let's visit this place. Ah, well, good timing. Would you try this for me? It's an invention of a great witch. Me! It's a... Uh, it's a mine. It contains some very explosive magic. Hide it on the ground, and when an enemy steps on it... Come BOOM! Oh, jeez. I'm still testing them, so that one's free. Come back and tell me how it works. And we got a mine. Interesting idea, lady. Alright then, so I take it that we move, and we pick items and plant, and then it'll plant it. Because I've actually never used the mine before, because I actually skipped over the village on my first playthrough, unfortunately. Okay, uh, Sarah, you can heal low enough while we get the chance. May as well, since you're already here. Okay, uh, Rebecca, uh, I'm gonna have you move by the trees, or in this case, this turn not. Move down there, and let's see what happens. You're running away. Uh, let's see what's over here. Hector, check this out, please. And uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Well, what's this music? This will never do. Look at the time. I must leave for Kalia now, or my business will be ruined. 
Time is money after all. Hurry, hurry, rush, rush, rush. Hold on there, you dropped something. And we get a torch. Alright then. And a torch, if I remember, helps deal with fog, right? So yeah, um, this is an item that you have equipped, and I believe every turn that uses up one of those five usages. And on a foggy chapter, if you use a torch, it will greatly increase your sight. So like, you can use it to help navigate through the fog, because normally that's a problem. Uh, we'll have Barda do that. And I'm actually not gonna break it this turn, even though I definitely could, because I want to have it so that we can break it and then have everybody else charge in at the same time, so we don't just have them being able to come at us without us doing anything back to them. Okay, you guys still have the same attack range, correct? Yes, alright. I'll put Matthew down here, so if we try to attack him, he's not gonna get hit because he's a freaking thief and a cover, so that's not gonna work. I'll blow and hang around here, and then I think we'll just have Sarah hang around here. Uh, Marcus, don't do anything, please, because you're an experienced hog. Let's see what happens. Like, look at this. 3% hit chance. Good luck with that. <laughs> we have no why you bother. And this is also gonna miss, right? Oh, uh, really? Really? <sighs> Screw you two, game. And whoa! Reinforcements way too close to what I like. Okay, it's official. Oswin, get in there. Start kicking everyone's butt. There we go. Okay, let's see here. How close is... Uh, Guy cannot... Okay, Guy cannot hit us, but we cannot also get to him, so that's a problem. Okay, now I could just try and bait them so everyone attacks Oswin, because that's entirely... A, that would totally work if I wanted to. Let's see here. How far would I have to move everyone back? You know what? I'm actually going to see how that works. We're actually going to try that out. So I'm going to have Matthew move back here. I'll have Loan move back as well. So we're just gonna have everybody out of attacking range that I wanna see. Because there's nobody here who has anything that can really uh, penetrate Oswin's awesome defense. So I'll just have everybody move back. And meanwhile, while that's going on, I think I'll have. Yeah, I'll have Barta break this open. There we go. And now we go on the offensive. And you are a sword user, but we don't have any. Actually? Yeah, actually, no, we don't. Okay. I want to get in there. You're the most equally map. You're not really doing anything to that guy. All right. Uh, Dorcas, how about you? 15, but you're not gonna hit. All right, forget it. I would get in there. Actually, how about Hector? How about Hector there? Uh, lots of damage, but probably not gonna hit. I uh, you know what? There's really not that much risk. I'll go for it. At oh my god! <laughs> he got the critical hit, but he missed it. Ha! <laughs> Wow, alright. Okay, now put Elliot behind, and we'll put Dorcas behind. There we go. Let's see here. Because like I said, there's really nothing they can really do to Hector. Hector's gonna miss up. Oh, actually, there wasn't a critical hit he missed, alright. There's nothing they can really do to Hector, but he's still there. Alright, so as like I said, with the Fortress and Oswin's awesome defense, he can just take whatever they throw at him and hit, like, twice his back hard. And I get the feeling this one's about to get a lot of XP and- Oh! He's already a level 10 knight! Oh! Alright, that might explain why he's so powerful. <laughs> nice dodge. Take him out. Now, I haven't explained this yet because we don't really have any items to do so yet, but... Now that he's level 10, we can actually, if we get the right item, we can evolve him into a great- a uh, general or- a gr I think it's called general in this game? I think the name got changed in the future games, but... It's general here, and basically Oswin will become Wallace 2.0, and Wallace was already great, so I think you already know what I'm talking about. And you're not going to hit us. Dang it. I said you're not going to hit us. Okay, so reinforcements are going to keep coming from there unless we can block off that area. Good to know. So I'm thinking this turn, we're going to go nuts on the offensive side. Let's see, Matthew, I'll have Matthew, um... I'll have Matthew attack this guy, because he is definitely not going to hit us. Yeah, exactly. Hit him again, nice. Okay. Now, let me think here. Uh, oh, we can't reach him, alright. So this turn, we're going to have to go in the hyper offense then. 
Meaning, bring in Marcus. Okay, so we'll do that. Destroyed. Alright, let me think here. How do I want to approach this? Because Matthew's actually kind of in a risky scenario. Okay, so the archers are really what I'm worried about right now. So let me just try and take out this guy. There we go, nice. Okay, let's see here. You can wait, and I'll have low in. Take out this guy. Okay. I think Matthew should be fine. I think he should be fine. That's the thing, he should be fine. Unless I'm done, because you're not gonna hit him for squat. You I'm a little worried about, and you can't even reach him, so. Mavi should be fine this turn, and then Zara can heal him up next turn, so that's all there is to that story. Okay, now, Elliewood! You know what, I'll use the Rapier, it's gonna save us a lot of time. I- God! Darn it! Really? Come on! This Axe user is a problem, apparently. Or the Sword user. Okay, you're not gonna move from your spot because you're one of those bosses. So I think we can just go on the offensive now. Let's check what's in the arm rate. You have a hand axe. Uh, I don't have any interest in that. How about a vendor? Let's see. Phonuaries. Um. Ah, uh, heck, I'll buy two. Never mind. All right then. Okay. All right, so here's a new plan. We're gonna try our best to hit this guy, but it isn't gonna. <gasps> Dorcas, dang! 36% chance and he got it. Nice. Okay, now can Barda finish the job? 40. 25. 40. Come on! Dang it! I was, I was getting a little too hopeful there. Right, we're going to be taking a good chunk of damage for that, but honestly, it's not that bad. Okay, enemy phase. Attacking Elliewood, alright. I can't even question that since he's going to get a crit on you, apparently. Jeez. Nice job, Hollywood. God. Alright, now what? Let me think. And oh, you're also gonna challenge Hollywood, and this one actually is a bad matchup. Oh, double attack, alright. I guess Hollywood's speed is just is suddenly all ama amazing all of a sudden. Let's see here. HP, strength. Alright, not the worst level up, I'll take it. Okay, you're gonna go after Hector. With a lance when he has cover. What are you doing, sir? Yeah, Hector's just gonna run a train through you. That's like over 30 damage without even needing a critical hit. What were you even thinking? Just 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 curious. What were you even thinking? Okay, what else? Uh here comes Oswin. Well, this guy against Oswin. And double nothing happened. And, oh, never mind, something happened. <laughs> Okay, good job, Oswin. Now, uh, let me see here. That gonna go after Barda, alright. I respect it. Safe decision. And yeah, Matthew's fine. 1% chance. Good luck with that, buddy. Good luck with that. So this is the guy I was worried about, but even if he hits, we'll be fine. Okay, so now to make sure no more reinforcements come, first of all, I'm going to be healing him, uh, Matthew here, because he's pretty low on HP, and I would like to keep him alive if I can. There we go, not bad. Now then, uh... You know what? Uh, jeez, um... So I know you can take on this guy with no problem whatsoever. Actually, it's... Not really worth it. I'll just have Matthew finish off this guy then. Or do a lot of damage to him. Whatever. There's one. I want Matthew to get stronger, because I pretty I'm pretty confident in Matthew's abilities. Once he gets up there. There we go. Level four. And only speed. Ah, eh, terrible. Rubbish. Uh 
Uh, it's more important to take out the archer. There we go. Okay. Now then, uh, oh sweat, I'm gonna have you take one of the forts. Just to make sure no more reinforcements come, because those were annoying. Okay, now I'll have... Uh, we'll just have Marcus take this guy out. Marcus hasn't been taking up that much XP. I think it's okay for this one exception. Let's dodge and knock him out. Okay. So all that's left is Guy. And Guy's maximum attacking range is right there. Uh, what's Matthew's movement? Let me see here. Matthew's movement is six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult trying to get to Guy. This is gonna be very difficult. I could try and bait him to come closer, but that's risky. I think the only person that I can pull that off is with Oswin. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because then Guy will probably come after him if I move him there. And then we can talk to him with Matthew and see what happens. Okay, that's the plan. I'll have you hang out in here. I'm gonna have. Wow, I forgot I haven't traded off a lot of your uh, vulnerability. We'll do that. Uh, Dorcas, just knock this guy down a peg, please. Thank you. I'm very happy to give you that skill book because those hit accuracies have been looking a lot better since. Okay, now you can follow up, please, and hopefully not miss, but you should be fine. Thank you. And, ooh, level up. All right. All right, I'll take it. Let's see here. We got HP locked. Uh, you know what? More HP is always a good thing. Okay, you can attack us. You can as well. And then all that's left is this guy besides that. That's really a threat. We'll move you there. And now, uh, low, and you can just hang on the trees up here. Alright, nothing gonna happen there. And ow. Like I said, why would you attack Hector? Actually, no, he's not He's not inside him up. I guess this time I'll give him a, a little bit of credit since he's not inside cover this time, but still. Hector, you don't really want to challenge him unless you have a solid way of dealing with his raw power. Sorry about that, guys got interrupted for a minute. Okay, let's see here. Um... You kind of just run a train for this guy. Let's do it. You're going to be taking eight. But I'm not really worried about it. There we go. You know, Varda, you have the advantage. This should not miss it. 18 times two. Wow, that's a lot of attack. Jeez. All right. Now all that's left is the boss and guy himself. Now... This is risky, because that killing edge could, well, kill Oswin. So we gotta be really careful about how we do this. So I'm gonna have Sarah nearby in case he needs healing, because it's probably gonna happen. Uh, does anyone else need healing? You kinda need it, you kinda need it. Alright, uh, item. I'll use a Bonerary. Bad. I'm gonna have Dorcas just hang out here. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Guy. Please do not freaking destroy me. As you can see... Oh crap! Okay, that worked out. Oh, that was scary. He did get the critical hit animation, but nothing happened to him because those wins massive defense. Now that we've done that... Matthew, go have a talk with your old pal. Talk. Talk to him. Hold on, you! I know you! Isn't your name Guy? It's... Is that you, Matthew? What a pleasant surprise! How's your sword work coming? You are aware this isn't the best place to be catching up, aren't you? You and I, we're on the opposite sides here. What? Did you say you're gonna fight me? I, uh, well, yeah. I'm much improved, you can't beat me. You're quite a terror guy. Well then. Hold on, I think I'd prefer it if you repaid what you owed me. Huh? Last time I saw you, I gave you food. If I remember correctly, you said you owe me your life. I only said that because you said you'd free me if I did. I didn't eat in ten days, and you're and you were cook and you were cooking me. Keep this. This isn't fair. People sacred never lie. Isn't that right, guy? Uh, fine. I finally, find work, and now I have to throw it away. It's all your fault. And yeah, guy is now part of our team. Who really, really could go for some healing. 
Let's go fix Guy up here because Guy is very, very powerful. Let me just heal him up quickly and then we'll give him his quick bio. All right, there we go. Heal the quick bio. I'm not gonna make anything up. I'm just gonna be flat out honest with you. Guy is pretty freaking awesome. He set it on a quest to be the strongest swordsman or the best swordsman in all of Sakura and he basically accomplished his goals. He is a Myrmidon, which is basically a master of the sword. He's very evasive, hits very hard, and because of Guy's high skill and his weapon, the Killing Edge, he has an extremely high critical hit ratio. And yeah, besides the fact he's frail and he kind of he kind of works like Lin in the frail department, like if he's hard to hit and he hits hard when he does hit, but when he gets hit, he doesn't take it very well. Besides that, Guy is probably one of my favorite units in the entire game. He's also extremely quick with that 70% chance of speed increase. So honestly, I think Guy is probably one of the best characters you're gonna be reading this entire game. Like, for the entire thing, period. That's just my thoughts on Guy. Just recommend him a lot. All right, now with that said, moving Guy and the rest of our troops, because all that left is Stan is the ca enemy captain, and he's a knight, so he's gonna be bulky. We have proven time and time again we can beat knights, so let's do it. You in. And this guy's just not gonna move, so I'm not really worried about that in the slightest. So I'm thinking we'll just. Hey, what do you have? You have a javelin? Only a steel lance, which isn't that, which still is a dead believe weapon, but it's better than him just throwing javelin at us all day. So I'll just do this. There we go. He's not gonna move. All right, and guys, we heal because of the fortress. Not bad. All right, let's keep moving then. Oh, we haven't visited this house yet. Okay, let's do that while we have a chance. I'll have to go visit the next turn. So I'm gonna wait for everybody else to catch up, because then after that we're just gonna charge the boss and hopefully kill him in one, like, string of attacks. That's the plan, at least. There we go, and let's bring you in. There we are. Okay. Get some health back. Alrighty, let's see. Hector, go visit him up. One of the main rules of combat is to never rush. Um, it looks like your tactician knows that well. Ah, uh, sure, buddy. Um, that was it. All right then, whatever, whatever. Let's see how we do against them like this. Uh, four damage. Um, he does 16 if he hits us, so that's a no-no. Uh, guy can almost reach him. Does anyone really need healing badly, or is everyone fine over here? No, it's just Elliot's group over here that could really go for it. All right. Uh, I'll just put off the board. Uh, something with low in, and we'll just turn there. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the fortress. That's I keep forgetting about the fortress that I heal you. They're really helpful for that. Uh, Bard really could go for some healing, so we'll give him to it. There we go. Level up. All right. All I care about is evasing it. Okay, that works. That works. Skill and luck. I'll take it. Okay, guy, how do you fare against this guy? Get it? We have nothing, and even if you guys get that stupid high critical hit ratio, it ain't gonna do a squat. Uh, how would Osman do? Uh, it's about an even match, honestly. I actually have no idea how we're gonna do this. Uh, maybe I'll with the rapier, perhaps? That's definitely not gonna work. Alright, this guy might be difficult to kill, I won't lie. Uh, how about Hector with the wolf belly? Oh, there we go. There's that damage. But Hector's HP is kind of low, and I'm gonna wait till Sarah can move again before I try attacking with Hector. Like so. Okay, Hector, go in. Uh, definitely use this. All right, let's go for it. Come on out. We're here. Well, well, well. You survived, I see. You find that I'm a bit tougher than those fools you faced before. What have you done with Marcus Centaurs? You want to know? You have to best me first. Oh! Oh! Critical hit! Nice job! You've beaten me, but you're too late to save him. Too, too bad, eh, laddie? <laughs> nice crit, Hector. Dang! Couldn't have asked for a better time for it, too. HP, luck in the... Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Alright, time to seize the gate, and of course, we do that with Hollywood. Seize! And, oh. That's the victory music I was hoping for. Lord Hellman. Is that you, Hollywood? Hold on, my lord. I, I must apologize. Your father, he... You know something, sir? I, I haven't told Elbert about Darren's plans. This would never have... Ugh. Lord Hellman! Go to Lal's. Darren, the Marcus of Laws, knows all. Marcus of Laws? Sorry, Hollywood. I can't. Hold on! Beware the black bag. What Hellman? He's gone. It can't be. Lord Hellman. Why? Why did this happen? Ah, what is going on? We're going to Laws. We must speak to the Marquis of Laws, Lord Darren. You're right. We should leave quickly. I'm not sure how far we can get today, but... I can't sit still. Pardon me. Hmm? If I may, who are you? I'm the steward of Centaurs. If our lord gone, what are we to do? First, to give Lord Helmut a proper burial. After that, I'm sure the Lycian Council will have to meet. Stay here and defend the castle until you hear more. I understand. Let's go, we must keep moving. Yes, and now we seek answers from Margaret Santoris too. Lord Helmut, may you find peace. Oh! We got a side quest? I actually wasn't aware of this. Alright then. I guess next time on Fire Emblem we do the side quest. But let's see what happens if I click yes first. Oh, alright. It just takes me straight to the menu. Okay then. That's going to do it for this episode of Fire Emblem. Next time on Fire Emblem. I realize I say it like that every time. So it's kind of fun. Anyways though. Next time on Fire Emblem, we are going to see what this side quest is all about. Because, like I said, I have never played any of the side quests, and I didn't remember this being a thing. Anyways, though, that's good to do it, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.